One East Limestone woman has received hundreds of donations to help foster children in need. Foster Corner of Alabama has been open now for seven months and donations are filling up their barn. Way 31's Matt Paskowitz has the details on how another North Alabama nonprofit is helping them reach their goals. Ashton Miller Harris told me she runs a one man band in organizing all of the donations she has received. And in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the Travis Mannion Foundation is lending a hand. So I started at my house on my porch and I just started helping families and it grew from there. This old red barn does not look like much from the outside, but once you step in, it's almost like stepping on another planet. Yep. It provides um, clothes and shoes and, and furniture and anything that the kid needs that um, can be theirs. Miller Harris started Foster Corner of Alabama around seven months ago. Since then, this old barn is turned into one full of donations. There's a, a mom's group that's donated um, from their consignment sale, Little Lambs. They donated to us. Um, we've had uh, Kids Mart. Uh, they're a pop-up store. Miller Harris does all of the organizing by herself, and it's taken a toll. So another nonprofit has offered to help. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, it is always the right time to do the right thing. The veteran-based Travis Mannion Foundation plans on helping clean and properly store the items inside the barn, all in the spirit of remembering Martin Luther King Jr. One of our other leaders uh, found Foster's Corner and found that they needed support, and we're like, well, this is a great organization to, to help locally. And while the operation hasn't even started, Miller Harris cannot thank her community enough. They did want to do their legacy project here, which I'm so grateful for because it helps me get this stuff in order. Um, and, and if my stuff is in order, I can help families more efficiently and help more families. The two nonprofits will work together tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to sort all the donations to Foster Corner so far as received. And if you'd like to come out and help, we have the details on our website at waytv.com. In the studio, I'm Matt Paskowitz, Wait 31 News.